I joined Applied Radiology through our previous editor-in-chief, Stu Maris, about 10, 11 years ago. He invited me to join the editorial board of Applied Radiology. I was incredibly honored and joined the neuroradiology section. And I was with the board for nine, 10 years. And then uh, Kieran approached me and said that Stu was retiring from clinical practice. Kieran and I had numerous conversations. Then here we are. And it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. I love this team. I love applied radiology, what we've already done, and the plans that we have for the future. As editor-in-chief, I oversee all of the aspects of manuscripts and case reports from submission to ultimate publication. We have submissions that come from the editorial board. We have submissions that come from all over the world, providing content for the practicing radiologist that people can use, they can read in a piece, and then use that information that they learned to improve their interpretation of a case that very day. That's what I love about applied radiology. We offer clinical content, but we also offer information about leadership, management, how to best image, contrast agents, all of these things that fall under what we consider the non-interpretive skills area in radiology, which is often so time consuming and people are much less comfortable with. We're growing our case reports section under the leadership of associate editor Kristen Porter. We're developing a dedicated section for radiological cases with an opportunity for junior folks to join our board and participate in that review process as well. The first year that I was editor-in-chief and we were physically here at RSNA, a member came up and said, you know, I get all the other journals and they have great science, but the one that I read cover to cover is applied radiology. And I just thought that was, that was so great. You know, that's why we do what we do, that the people who are out there generating amazing science and advancing the field are so incredibly important, but equally important are the folks out there doing the day-to-day -day work, taking care of those patients, getting the job done, and to be able to give them you know, a little pearl or a little nugget that helps them make a better diagnosis or helps their workflow or helps them feel better about themselves at the end of the day. That is one of the most rewarding parts of, of this job. Yeah.